Spark, finally, after soup, we have some meat on the menu. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd be happy with uh, that. I'm very happy. What are you doing? <laughs> right, so we're going to do a classic German dish. So it's uh, schnitzel. So we're going to use pork today, but you can use veal if you want. And then we're going to do a potato salad. So there's Yum. lots of different ways of doing potato salads, but we've got uh, picked out a nice one. We've got nice red potatoes here, bacon in there, because you'll like that. Yes. Uh, mustard, vinegar, and it's, you know, just chunky, rich, mm. nice. Really simple dish, but uh, a hearty winter dish. And um, from your mum, mm -hmm. is it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There you go. We'll learn yeah. a bit more about that very soon. We need to finish off this warm potato salad, though, and we need to cook our schnitzel. This is great. It's nice to have some meat. I've missed it, Mark. I've missed it. <laughs> Pan ate it brilliantly, so don't you stuff it up when you cook it, OK? <laughs> what did you say at the end of last week? We're not doing soup week again. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's some good recipes there. Go back on our website and have a look if you want the recipes from last week. Good save. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> right, so what we want to do is get a nice hot pan. Yes. Good you know, a good generous splash of oil in there and then pop your um, schnitzels in there. You want it sizzling, so you want to want to start cooking it. So keep this over sort of a, a medium to sort of high heat so we can sustain that heat there. And we're just going to get a colour on it in oil first and then we're going to pop some butter in so it's going to finish cooking in butter. It's all going to go nice and golden and tasty. That's the secret butter. Okay, cool, butter, the secret. No, because you well, don't want to burn the crumbs to make sure your pork's cooked, do you? So, no, so, so it's all about, sure it's hot. Yeah, so it's yeah. all about balancing. And the thinner your pork is, the sort of faster and hotter you can get it because right. by the time it's golden you flip it over on the other side the pork should be cooked mm. so it's a little bit thicker which is which is fine which is nice so it would just take a, maybe another minute or two another to, minute or two. to cook there right go. another another pan here i'm yes. going to start the um potato salad so okay. you've got some bacon so just give it a nice sort of like dice up and then we're just going to get that nice and uh, you know start getting it cooking get it nice and crispy if you want you know it gives you a nice bit of texture is it your mum, the one that taught you cooking? You used to cook with your mum back in the days? Yeah, I used to set up on the uh, the bench top and put my fingers and everything. It's great, <laughs> right. you know. Right. Started with cakes and everything. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's really good. Yeah, no, but she's a she's an awesome cook. You know, and we used to have lots of uh, you know lots of sort of traditional German food at home, and that's right. I think that's what got me into cooking as well. You know, because nice. it's you know something different to the uh, traditional fish and chips and True. fish finger butties, which are very nice though. <laughs> Right, so we've got bacon in there, yep. so you keep an eye on that, get it nice and crispy. Okay, Just got cool. some red onion. What about this pork? Let's have a look. Yep, beautiful. Turn so it over. Yep, turn it over. Nice colour on that, that's what we're looking for. And you can see how fast that's, um, you know, turned, mm. you know, so that's probably like a minute, minute and a half. Okay. So you can turn it down slightly. We're going to start getting that colour on the other side and then we're going to add a little bit of butter. Okay, yum. Okay, right, so oh. we've got a little bit of red onion. Yes. And you put that in with the bacon. Yeah, I'm just going to get a little bit, um, get a little bit more colour on there. Okay. And then we are going to pop a couple of knobs of butter in there. So this is going to help finish. And turn that down. It's going to help finish the uh, schnitzels and make it nice and golden as well. And then a little bit of lemon juice as well. We're just going to squirt in at the last minute, and that's just going to cut that butter and just, you know, just season it up. Right, Brilliant. some red onion in there. Yes. So nicely finely chopped, so it's not going to take long to uh, cook. Cool. So cook that down. And then white wine vinegar. White wine vinegar. That goes in there. Touch of sugar just to balance that vinegar off. And <laughs> mustard. Oh, this is going to be the best potato salad I've ever had. So that goes in there. You can turn that off the heat now. And then stir it up. All you want to do, yeah, stir yep. that up, give it a good whisk in, and that's going to be the sort of dressing base of your potato salad. Oh. Once the uh, potatoes are cooked, drain them off, pop it in there, toss it around, lots of fresh chopped parsley, a little bit of lemon juice, salt and pepper if you need it, and uh, serve it warm or cold. That looks absolutely brilliant, and it's smelling so good as well. I cannot wait to try this a little later in the show. OK, Mark Schnitzel, it looks incredible. Very excited yeah, that, that about is that. just for you, Mike. Beautiful. Thanks, Mark's mum, for that.